When the US government issues a bond, it's basically borrowing money. You lend them $1,000, they promise to pay you a fixed amount every year. Let's say that's gonna be 50 bucks, okay, or 5%. That 50 bucks is called the coupon. Now the coupon is fixed. You always get that 50 bucks, no matter what happens in the secondary markets for the trading of those bonds. So when you first buy it, $50 on a $1,000 bond is 5%, which is easy enough to understand, right? But things start getting a little more complicated, okay? The bonds don't just sit still. There's a very big open market for them and they trade in those markets. So if investors buy a lot of those bonds, the price of the bond goes up. Let's say the bond price climbs to $1,100. The coupon is still $50 guaranteed, but the yield is not 5% anymore. It's 4.5% for anybody who buys it at $1,100 because that $50 divided by $1,100 gives you a smaller return. That's why we say bond prices and yields are something that move in opposite directions. It's kind of like a seesaw. When prices go up, yields go down. 